Hello fellow YouTubers. Just got done uh, playing the broccoli and uh, this time I used some seed starting mix which was a lot lighter. It's a lot fluffier. Uh, I think it's mostly made of coconut core or something because it is really, really fluffy compared to the standard uh, compost I've been growing in. But it does work. I grew these ones in pure compost compost and uh, a little bit of garden soil and uh, I actually don't have room for these guys yet I'm not sure where I'm gonna put them in the garden because these are gonna get big and I'll show you how big they get they get about get over the garden here this big and this one's got a pretty good sized fruit on it, or vegetable I should say. Right in here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that is one big, big vegetable. Now these ones on the other hand are a little bit, I don't know, I don't know if they're gonna get real big or not. Get out of the way there. And these are the yellow crook neck. And you can see it's just making more and more. There is the radishes, which are doing pretty good. There's some cilantro planted there in my shadow. And you got your jalapenos there in the middle and then these are spaghetti squash supposedly it's supposed to taste just like pasta <laughs> but we'll be the judge of that when we get some right there is some corn and there's the carrots I just planted a whole row of carrots down the middle here right up in there Right in between the lettuce. That's the lettuce there. Here's the cucumbers. I don't got any cucumbers yet, I don't think, but it's, it's getting there. It's got a lot of flowers. I don't really know how to self-pollinate these ones. Or I know you can do it with the squash and it's fairly easy, but... I don't know. There's a few, there's two plants here. You'd think they'd pollinate themselves if you shake them up a little bit. This one I need to get a trellis for before it starts laying down on the floor. There's the cilantro going to seed already. And on the other side. There's the cilantro. There's the corn. This is okra. Right there, behind the fork, little baby okra, and uh, there's some more cilantro right there. Right here is, I don't know if you can see it, it's really little, it is a brandy wine tomato. It's supposed to be the best tasting tomato. And here's another one. And here's my tomato plants. Oh, we finally got a tomato. Look at that. I didn't think this thing was going to produce any. Because it was having a hard time, but... I guess we finally got one tomato there. <laughs> That's good. And this is uh, stevia which uh, is actually sweeter than sugar. It tastes just like sugar. I believe there's no calories in these. And you could put these in your smoothies, tea. It sweetens it right up. It tastes just like sugar, the leaves do. Really good. Actually, I think I'll have some right now. Just like eating sugar.
And this is lemon thyme. I'm not really sure if it's a vining plant, but I put these here to try and keep the leaves off the ground because when I go to harvest them, I don't want them all dirty and whatnot. Which I need to harvest here pretty soon. And I think that's just about it. Let me show you the. These are the grapes. Uh, see the grapes under there? Uh, there's the grapes. 